Stormboard tutorial for beginners. All you need to start with Stormboard Digital Whiteboard. Hello guys, Celia here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how can we easily start using this virtual whiteboard, stormboard.com. So here we are in the top of the screen, we can find some information. If you are interesting, you can discover it by your own. You'll also discover paid plans a little bit later. So let's click on sign up now, or if you have an account, you can just simply click on log in. In my case, I'm going to log in with my Gmail account. As for me, this is the easiest variant to start with uh, Stormboard. And we'll come to our dashboard from this page here. We can easily find all of our boards called All Storms. We can also find all the invites. If you are working in a company, you can simply I share your boards with others or you can get an invite. You can also join a storm. We need to import the storm ID and storm key. Basically, if somebody sent this information to you, you can just simply do it right up here. Also, we can search for storms for different boards. We can create a storm. Uh, and basically, these are the ways of how can we interact with this part here. Also in the right side, there is like my task where we can find all the tasks which do we have to perform. And also in the right top corner, we can find the account icon where we can manage account information, change profile picture, create a storm and also like go to dashboard. So uh, basically uh, from this page, the most useful is this one area so we can create a storm. And if you'll click, uh, we need to set up the name. Let it be like board one. Uh, here we can choose the type of our uh, board, like personal storm or team storm. Team storm is available only for like paid plan. And here we can choose a template, choose a template from the gallery, use our AI template generator or get started with a blank template. So if you uh, like once you create it by your own, you can easily start with a blank template. Let's try to find something which is suitable as for us uh, from different templates. And here you can find that there are a lot of different categories we can easily use like blank templates, general metrics, calendars, shape, uh, icebreakers, design, and also like a use cases area with problem solving, uh, brainstorming and ideation, PI planning, design thinking, and so on. So I suggest you to try it by your own and then you can easily decide what is suitable as for you. As for me, there are tons of different templates and I think everyone can find something which is suitable as for us. So let's try to use this Agile Project Center. Let's click on choose template and in a few seconds everything will be set up. Uh, and now we have like uh, four columns here like details, vision, mission statement and like success criteria. And we can easily interact, we can add some stuff here and do some others. If you want to change this storm template, we can just simply click on template in the bottom of the screen and when uh, just find something we need. For example, as for the general, like a three step framework for solving problem, we can click on choose template and the boards will be successfully changed like identify, analysis and solution with like small description here. And I think it's pretty cool. So in the top of the screen, we can go to dashboard, we can search for something, chat, find the activity, task and move to trash. And uh, basically in the bottom of the screen, we can like find settings, import ideas contained in CSV or LXSX, also generate reports and change the template. In order to add something, we just simply need to add, click on add in the bottom of the screen here. And as you can see, we can add text, whiteboard, image, video, index card or file. So let's try to add some text, for example, subscribe to my channel, let it be like this. Let's click on got it and then just click on add idea. So now it was successfully added. And as you can see, we can uh, now switch it from different like uh, boards here from different columns to this one to this one. Let's try to add one more. For example, let it be like idea one. 
uh, we can change the color so let it be green for example and let's click on ok so now it was successfully added so basically now we can add the line for example from this part here to this part here and these are the ways of how can we interact uh, we can also change these lines we can remove connector we can like change the color which is pretty cool and in this case this is a way of how can we interact with all the features basically if we can add like whiteboards we can add images if we need we can select them from like our computer from box from dropbox or from google drive and we can also add like videos from youtube if you're going to create them for example to find the ideas we can easily uh, like uh, copy some links from youtube and add them right up here also we can add like index card so for example let's try to add this one here to view how does it looks like and as you can see it looks like this we can just simply add contact to this index card and now as you can see it was successful edit so it's pretty cool for some checkboxes checklist to do list and so on so we can import contact and on do some comments and I think it's pretty cool and the same way we can just simply add some connectors for example to this idea I think I think you know it's pretty cool and we can easily like uh, use these uh, to do list to our to make them as a main blocks so basically I think it's pretty cool so these are the main features of uh, this service if you're going to discover the paid plans uh, we can find that we have like personal business and enterprise um, for the personal we have like five open storms five user per storm microsoft office 365 google drive option uh, 260 templates basic export options and integration with teams slack and even more for the businesses we have like ten dollars per month we have more advantages like all personal feature plus unlimited open storms unlimited users per storm temp guests uh, full microsoft integration full google drive integration advanced reporting also like templates here magnetic template section custom template section organization by teams and folders so i suggest you to try it for free and after that you can easily decide is it necessary as for you to buy the paid plan as for me it's pretty cool but you need to understand if you are going to use it or not so definitely it's this service is good and it has like a lot of partners or like users so i definitely uh, can recommend it to you so this is a way of how can we use tomboard hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye